What's going on, YouTube? Ugh. <laughs> Time for another hi. 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 Time for a, another high adventure. Another high adventure video. Time for another adventure video. Time for high adventure. Oh, isn't this? Sleep on that one. What's going on, YouTube fam? We are back on another high adventure video. Heading down to the coast for our final day of shrimping for the 2022 shrimping season. This was my first year ever baiting for shrimp. And I've got to say, like, new achievement unlocked in life. This was so much fun. We've probably caught like over a thousand dollars worth of shrimp. E I would say easily this season. Before we get to the shrimping though, of course we've got to hit the low tide. We're gonna do a little fishing, hit our rock walls, see if we can bank any piggies before we head out into the big water to hopefully find some shrimp. I have got currently one hour and 47 minutes of driving ahead of me. I'll catch you guys when we finally get to our island. Oh, I see a bunch of mullet out there. Let's throw on this point really quickly though. Sometimes they like to hold. Oh, I thought I saw some swimming around there actually, right as I threw that net. Did I get any of them? I got a shrimp. No, I did, I got a little mullet. A little mullet and shrimp. That's the bait of choice for today, ladies and gentlemen. Fresh mullet and some of these little creek shrimp. Ooh, that mullet though. That's usually the candy for those fish. Oh, that school is wandering around out there. Let's go see if we can chase it down. There, there's a big old pile of it right down there. They're just moving. Go see if we can sneak up on it. Let's see, I think that got some. Yeah, I see some of the net. They're literally just swimming right past me. Oh, there's a shrimp. What do we get? Get them? Yeah, bullseye. There are a few more. That's what we're after. There's some big old mullet in there too. Decent sized ones. Oh, a lot of shrimp. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've got a nice bit of bait here. Got some nice mullet. That's a decent sized mullet right there. If we can't get anything with all this, we probably just have no business being out fishing today. Speaking of fishing, we got the rods rigged up. Let's go ahead, get to the fishing hole. Uh, guys, I don't know why, but I forgot my net again. I think because I was focused on the shrimping portion of the day. Like, that's one of the main reasons I'm out. Like, the main reason I'm out here is to go shrimping. I got a net all right. I got the cast net, but I didn't get a dang net for fishing. I need to nail a net in this boat because that is happening way too often. I don't, like, it's like forgetting a fishing rod almost. I mean, come on. We got our toad fish rod reel setup got a carolina rig on that's pretty much just the go-to here fish out a little mullet i think we're going to do a live mullet i've had success on both live and cut i'm going to start the day with a live mullet and then go from there if they don't readily jump on that i think we switch to cut switch to shrimp whatever we need to do like that there you go now what we're looking at here ladies and gentlemen is the current's still going out tides going out so the current is coming this way so what i'm hoping is is as it goes along oh I, there is a crab there's a blue crab on that pillar how the heck am i not catching blue crabs last time i was down here i caught zero blue crabs what's up with that anyway i digress the current's coming along this i'm hoping it kind of breaks creates a little eddy right under this dock hopefully those fish are sitting right under this dock that is the plan the hope anyway that looks like a keeper sized crab down there too if i had a net i could probably net it but alas who forgot the net this guy 
Oh, that was a hit right there. I'm almost dead positive we just got bumped. When you're fishing with live bait, you know, you've always got that, you know, it's gonna be a, potentially a little play in there. But that felt like a little bit more than what a little mullet would do. Let's check on our little friend, see how he's doing. He's still alive. All right, I've cut my mullet in half. I'm gonna just drop it right down to him. I don't know why, but crabs are just so cool looking. They're fun to catch. They're cool to look at. Delicious to eat. What's up, dude? Oh, there you go. There you go. Grab it. There you go. He got it. Now, will they let me pull him off the stanchion, though? Look at that. Definitely wants it. How greedy are you? How greedy are you? See, right now, I could put him in a net. Yes! <laughs> we got him! Look at that! Well, let's get away from this. Oh, guys, it's like a mating pair. Oops. My bad, y'all. Look at, look at that. You know, I feel kind of bad now. Sorry. Didn't mean to interrupt the honeymoon here. Here, I'm gonna just drop y'all back in. Oh, well, now she's gone. Shoot, come here. No. Oh. You know what, actually? Excuse me, ma'am. Sorry about that. Don't worry. There are plenty other males in the sea. Get out of here. Hey, dude. Let's say you and me go for a little ride. That's definitely a keeper. Get grief. We're gonna drop him right on the ice. I do feel kind of bad, but obviously not bad enough to throw him back. So, there you go. There you go. You hang on to that if you want. Ha! Bonus catch. I want to go back to that dock now. Let's drop a little bit of cut bait down there. See if that's any different. See if we get any more of a bite using that instead of the live bait. Oh, there's a hit. There's one. Dude, I had one. I had one, then I got snagged. Like I lifted up and all of a sudden, bam, bam. Bam, bam, thank you, ma'am. Dang it. What was that? Oh, oh, there he is. Oh, pff, a toad fish. What? Come on. Huh. You know what? He's got that big old piece of bait in his mouth. I'm gonna just let him have it. You earned it. There you go. Well, that's not what we're after. <laughs> Let's go try this rock wall over here. Little live mullet going back out. It's like right down there in that trench. I'm gonna set this in a rod holder. Loosen the drag. There we go. All right, we're gonna throw this little voodoo shrimp for a minute while we let that little live mullet soak. See if we got any trout in the area or anything really. Right where I threw that shrimp, there are mullet jumping. Hopefully that means something's chasing. Means we got something big in the area. Dude, we got something on the live mullet. Live mullet. Oh, he's, oh. Did he, did he drop off? Dude, he was on there, man. No, he's down there. Got him. He's just streaming upstream. First fish. First fish. There we go. Nice. What do we got? I'm gonna go redfish, be my guess. Yeah, nice red. Nice red. Oh, dude, that took about two minutes. Two minutes. I'll bet that's in the slot too. But that's right at the top of the slot. Oh, that's a gorgeous looking fish. You know, it would be cool if we had a net. That'd be awesome. Boo, right in the bottom of the lip. I got this 15 pound test line though, I like that. Come here. Come here. Not exactly sure. He's not small enough to flip. That hook looks like it's in there pretty good though. Yeah. No, 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 no. Come back here. There he is. Look at that fish. That is gorgeous. That is a gorgeous spot tail right there. And I'll bet that's over 20. You want to get him. I like to get him in the top of the slot. So you get the most meat that you can. Let's see what that measures up at. Got a measuring board right here. 
Oh yeah, dude. Dude, oh, 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 I think that's 21. Let's see, double check this side. 21 and a half, beautiful, yes! There's the way to start the day. That's why we always come out and fish the low tide, cause you never know. Well, this isn't a bad way to start. Got a beautiful spot and a nice blue crab going on the ice. Dang, see this is why you get that low tide action. Then we go out and we see if we bang some shrimp. That was phenomenal. Man, that was fast. That's what I expect a spot tail bite to be like. When you roll up in an area, if you don't get something within like 10 minutes, it doesn't seem like the bite is gonna be there. In my opinion, like at least in my experience, you know pretty quickly if they're in the area or not. And sometimes it's, it's a very specific area. Sometimes they're here, not right there. Sometimes they're right there, not right here. You just gotta work it, figure out where they're at. Oh dude, we're getting bit again. So I'm gonna give him a second to take that live bait. Oh, he's swimming around with it now. Look at that, look at that. He's got it. Got him, got him. Good grief. Like two minutes later again. This one doesn't feel as big. Oh, this is a trout. This is a trout. What is I telling you guys? Yes, look at that. Oh my gosh. Dude, that is the fun thing about the live bait. You don't ever know what you're gonna get. We got a nice trout. They gotta be 15 if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. Oh, he's gonna be a little short. He's gonna be a little short. Whoa, 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 whoa. You know, let me double check the regs on that. It's either 14 or 15, because that's a that's a 14 incher right there. Let me doubly check, but I'm pretty sure it's 15. Here we go. Herring, black drum, blue fish, red drum, saltwater sheep's head, sea trout temper. Oh, 14 inches. We can keep that one. Dude, sweet, spotted sea trout. We can keep that one. That's awesome. Look at that. I thought it was 15, but I think I'm thinking sheep's head or one of them. All They're like four fish right at like that 14 or 15 inch. But there you go. Dude, look at that. That's awesome. Look at that cooler, ladies and gentlemen. Looking good. Looking real good. Oh, speaking of not looking good or real good, we better get some fresh fresh water in here. All right, so the voodoo shrimp was not working. So we're gonna go try a real shrimp next. Like this little guy. There's a bite on the shrimp right there. God, oh, what? Dude, he just busted right off. What the heck? Must have had a weak spot. So I'm just totally annihilated that shrimp. Come on, Micah. Cheapers. I have to check that live bait here in a minute. It's really weird. We were just getting bit like crazy and now all of a sudden nothing. We are right at slack tide though. So like the tide's not moving either way. And I know some people say that like fishing isn't that great at slack tide. Allegedly. You want that current moving. So. Well, there's the hit on the shrimp. Uh, the problem with this shrimp, I just got took, but the problem with this shrimp is you get everything in its mother biting it. And while it's great to get bites, a lot of times you're just going through the trash fish. Look at that. Dude, right there. Like, oh dude, what is that? Is that a trout? I think that is a trout. No, is that a red? Dude, that is, I can't, oh, that's a little red. Oh my goodness. That didn't even get to the bottom. That didn't even get to the bottom. He just smashed that. Holy cow. Was not ready for that. I thought for sure a trout. Is that a keeper? Gotta be 15, kind of doubt it. Dude, that technically is a keeper. That is right at 15 inches. But you know what? We are going to hedge our bets that we can get something a little bigger. So we're gonna throw him back. Pretty fish, but we're gonna see if we can't get something bigger. I think we can. All right, the bite seems to have kind of died along the rock wall. I'm gonna go hit this up over here. See if anything's hanging out under this dock. Well, there's something right there. Got him. Oh, no, 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 stay away. Stay away from the dock piling. Dude, that was immediate. That's what you want right there. Ah. 
I'm afraid he's hitting that dock piling though with all those shells on it. And I do have 15 pound test line. <laughs> Good grief, that was, I mean, that was like, bam, that's what you want. Maybe this is where everybody's at. I, don't, I think he's still on there. He's just down here somewhere. We don't like where we're at right here, ladies and gentlemen. Not gonna lie. Is he still on? I don't know if he's on anymore. Dang it. He might still be on. Oh, shoot. Ah, he got me all snagged up. Dang it. Was not in the right position. Dragging this piece of cut bait. There's one. Dude, I just missed one. Right there. Got him. Right there. What do we got? Yep, little black bass, what I call it. Boom, called it. Not what we're after, unless he was about 10 inches longer. Cool little fish, but not what we want. All right, guys, it is about 140. We better get going if we wanna go do some shrimping. The tide's starting to come in. Shrimp will start to be moving around. So let's go ahead and put all this away. Not a bad little morning of fishing though. Should have gone ahead and kept that 15 incher that we caught. I rolled the dice and lost, figuring I'd get another one. That was a hot bite to start, but uh, kind of died, like I said, after that, uh, after that tide went out. We're doing justice to the cooler so far. Let's go see if we can get after the real prize, which is the shrimp. There we go. I feel very tribal. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah! Oh, perfect. All right, let's get some bait going. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm really surprised at the lack of people out here. Like there's nobody out here. I double checked to make sure it still was baiting season. I was like, this is weird. It's literally the last day that it's gonna be nice. The season closes in two days. And there's like, it's beautiful. I mean, look at this. We're in big water. And it's like a lake out here and nobody's out here and it's a weekend day too like what what am i missing something hopefully that doesn't mean now that i'm thinking about it that hopefully it's not bad shrimping <laughs> uh, we did see a few like skeetily eating across the surface so that's a good sign but uh, hopefully it's not like everybody else knows something that i don't <laughs> it was like no no well i guess we're all getting ready to find out last bag of bait binder for the season I found I like to put a little water in the bottom before I dump the bait binder in. That way it just kind of helps mix it all in. In she goes. Dude, this looks like gingerbread cookie mix. Get me in the holiday spirit. There we go. That's what you want. Check it out. It's like a shrimp snowball. Dribble. All the stuff back. Oh! oh, that was a bad throw, actually. We should probably pay attention. You know what? I'm feeling feisty. Let's go three. Let's really get everybody excited for the final shrimping of the season. Come on, everybody. Here's our 10 foot net. I feel like a midget throwing this thing, man. What the heck? Dude, I can't even like, I'm not tall for this net. I mean, I like the spread that it gives. I just feel so small. Come on. Here we go. The moment of truth. Are there shrimp in the area still? End of the season. Come on, baby. What are you doing? Uh, I've had better throws than that, but. Oh, I see a shrimp. I see a shrimp. I see one shrimp and a bait fish. All right, all right. There you go. Couple of shrimp there. Come on, first throw. There you go, pinfish. A little bait is what that is. Actually, I don't think that's a pinfish. That's a croaker or something. I forget what they call that. It feels like I feel some in here. Oh, yeah, yeah, we got some. Here we go. Yeah, we got more in here. Ha! Yes, we found him. Look at that. See him in there? 
Got some shrimp in that net. Drop them on the deck. There we go, that was better. Oh yeah, I see shrimp already at the head of the net. It's always a good thing. Yes, there are more, not a lot. About another eight or nine. Eight or nine shrimp. Oh, there goes one. <laughs> yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. Hopefully, as that bait just soaks down there too, we'll just start getting more and more coming up. They start to smell it down, down there. Here we go. Let me show you guys what we got here. Check this out. Hey y'all, we're getting some now. We're bringing them in. There's still a few down there for us. Still a few down there to be had. Hopefully as that bait keeps soaking, it'll just start bringing more and more in. And uh, we'll just start getting more and more in the nets. Look at the horn on this shrimp right here. See that right there? That thing is sharp. I've gotten stuck by that before. That's why I wear gloves when I'm usually raking them up. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I risk it for the biscuit. And then I always get stuck and then I cuss my luck. But <laughs> anyway, good decent size white trip. Let's go ahead and get this cooler opened up. Move my sweet tea out of here and snacks. Let's load her up. Couple down there, couple down there. What do I got? Oh, I got a baby flounder. Check this out. Look at that. He's just a little under the slot. <laughs> I think flounder are like up to 16 inches now that you can keep. So he's got about 13 inches to go. It's almost easier to throw this thing short, it seems like. Dude, I already see shrimp at the head of the net. That's a good sign. Oh yeah, look, oh, look at that. Oh dude, they're coming around now. Look at, oh, I got some more of those croaker or whatever in there. And we got a bunch of shrimp there. Yeah, we're getting them now. They're coming into that bait. This is awesome. Nobody else is out here. We're just catching shrimp all by ourselves. Look at that. Little shrimp on the deck. That's good bait. Get out of here. This is sweet. Wait, I hear, oh, I got seagulls. Ha! They're like, hey, got any of that uh, fresh shrimp for us? I'm trying to be a little picky on the size. Some of them, if they're a little small, like this guy right here, just a little small in my eye. So I throw them over. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the SS High Adventure, where our shrimp are big and our bait is good. I don't know kind of failed on the last half of that but we're getting shrimp but we better start cooking up because that dadgum daylight savings it's gonna get us man i hate the time change absolutely hate it somebody give me a good reason why we still should have daylight savings get out of here shut up dumb seagulls what's happening is is i'm throwing some of these smaller shrimp over and some of them they're not going down real fast so then the seagulls are just swooping in and uh taking them but look at that cooler i mean we've got a good amount it's not an insane record day but we're gonna have enough to bring home and share with some neighbors that's for sure love sharing some shrimp with some neighbors all right it is time to start cooking up a little dinner right out here on the SS High Adventure. Right out here in the ocean. Does it get better than this? Does seafood get fresher than this? I say no. Let's grab some of our bigger shrimp. I want some of the big ones like that. Sometimes a few little ones will slip through the cracks as far as when I'm trying to siphon through them when I put them in. So what I do is I'll set them off to the side and those get used as bait. But we got a lot of good sizes in here. I think we're gonna start with these guys right here. 
And what you do with shrimp, you just pinch the heads off. It's pretty simple. Boom, just like that. And then we're gonna toss them in this bowl here. In fact, what you can do, you can grab them all by their antenna and then just like pinch off the tails just right into a bucket or in a little pan like I'm doing here. There you go, then you're left with the heads. Just toss those in. Then you got these big old sea pigeons coming at you. So careful for them. Now what we're gonna do is come back here to the mess at the back of the boat because I'm kind of fighting the light, guys. The sun goes down in an hour and 20 minutes. So chop, chop, throw some oil on everybody. And then I'm gonna throw a little garlic in there. Just like that. Throw some pepper. Crack a lot, cause I'm a pepper fan. Get them all mixed up. Perfect. Now we're gonna let all that sit. Whoa, get back here. We're gonna let that sit in there like that. We're actually gonna stick this in the cooler here for the next 20 minutes or so while we cook up some bacon. All right, what we're doing next is on this very sketchy looking cutting board, we are going to slice some bacon long ways. Lay it all out like so. Oh, hey, there's the first boat I've seen. They aren't even shrimping either. Take our knife, run it down the bacon. Let's go ahead and get our heat started, actually. Not sure if this board is sanitary. I'm pretty sure I washed it at some point, but you know how that can go. I'm gonna set this right in our skillet. All right, so what we're doing first is just partially cooking the bacon, just cooking it on one side. See that right there? Beautiful. I'm gonna pull it off, lay them out like this. Perfect. Get our last three pieces on. I want all that good bacon grease in there too. That'll help cook our shrimp here in a minute. All right, so I may or may not have eaten one of the pieces of bacon. Anyway, on a side note, one of the things I did not do was I did not peel my shrimp. So while the bacon was cooking, we peeled our shrimp but left the tails on. So you wanna do that, uh, take the shells off the shrimp, unless you like eating the shells of the shrimp, which I don't know, maybe you do. Maybe you're crazy like that. Anyway, all right, here comes the fun part. We get out some toothpicks. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna take our shrimp and then we're gonna wrap the cook side against the shrimp because that's cooked. We want the outside piece that's kind of raw still to cook. And we're just gonna kind of sloppily wrap this shrimp here, I think. Then poke through one end and then out the other, right through my finger. No, <laughs> anyway, almost. There you go, look at that. A little bacon wrap shrimp right there. We're gonna do that with the rest of these and then throw them back in our bacon grease. Look at that, like a shrimp in the blanket. Dude, that's exactly what this is. It's a shrimp in a blanket. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen delicious shrimp going right in. Nice thing about all this too, is that shrimp don't take long to cook. So that should cook up pretty quickly, especially if we can get our heat going here. I'm trying to pack stuff on the side because we do have a little bit of a breeze going. Just trying to keep that breeze out and the heat in. Anyway, we'll let that cook up. And then we are going to try for the first time a little bacon wrap shrimp. This might be the most excited I've been for a recipe in a while. I'm not gonna lie. Mainly because it involves bacon. Oh my gosh, y'all. That smells insane. Insanely good. A little shrimp in the blanket is what I'm calling that right there. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Took the skewer out. That right there is a bacon wrapped piece of shrimp. Well, cheers y'all to a hard fought day. Mm. Pinch the tail, meat comes right out. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? That might be the best thing I've cooked in 2022 right there. Oh my Lord have mercy. Bacon wrapped shrimp, anyone? Mm. Oh my goodness. I'm dubbing it right now. As 
of November 6th, 2022. That is the best thing I have cooked on my channel, at least for this year. That might even rival like all time. Bacon wrapped shrimp. I mean, you got bacon. You're not gonna lose with bacon, right? Bacon is an automatic win. And if you like shrimp or even kind of like shrimp, um, dude, that should be illegal. That is so good. And that shrimp was alive like 20 minutes ago, 30 minutes ago. If you could go catch fresh shrimp in your area, you have to do this. You have to. Now look at this water out here. We've got the entire ocean to ourselves. The sun is gonna set here in about 30 minutes. So we better hightail it out of here because I've got like a 30 minute drive. Look at that. Got some fog gonna roll in tonight. Just absolutely gorgeous out here on the big water here in South Carolina. Thank y'all so much for hanging out with me today. Go try some bacon wrapped shrimp. Highly, highly recommend. Hope y'all enjoyed the video and the recipe. And as always, I will see you in the next one.